Hi, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did the dungeon called the Stockade. We turned in some quests for it. We also got a little bit of loot. We got a new ring, which is pretty good. It was a solid group. We had a paladin tanking, and it was pretty clean. And we got a little bit of gold from our auction house sales. So we're at seven gold now. And I'm going to do a little bit of auction house stuff at the moment. And I think we are going to go back to Darkshire today. So we'll be going back to Duskwood, the town of Darkshire. I have a lot of stuff I gotta get rid of. A lot of stuff I need to get rid of and a lot of stuff I need to sell. We got to use our new gun yesterday. Felt a little slow, but I believe it packed something? the punch. So let's, uh... Get rid of some stuff here. We got some junk in this book. Yeah, there we go. That's where all the junk is. Where these heavy linen bandages. Then we have a lot of stuff to sell. A lot of BOEs. Got another Mossagat. Got lucky with that. That sold for a lot last time we, uh, we sold. It was well, sold for over two gold. So clearly people are collecting gems for... Uh, for jewel crafting in TBC. People are preparing for that. So I'm just going to lighten up our bags today and we are going to uh, put some stuff on the auction house. And after that, we'll head down to uh, Darkshire. Go with honor, friend. So let's throw some stuff on the auction house. Make some gold. Hopefully we can get over 10 gold. And then we'll be 25% of our way there to our mount, which is the goal at the moment. Let's try to sell this stuff quick. 16 silver we'll throw on that. Hopefully it sells. It'll sell for 15, actually. That seems pretty cheap. I'm trying to get these sales off here. What should we put these wrists up for? Five intellect cloth wrists, level 20. We'll put it up for uh, 18 silver. That's super cheap. Should sell Mossagat and see what the prices are on Mossagat. Mossagat has gone down a lot. That's all right. I guess we'll sell it for uh, 90 silver. I'll take that. Clearly, the market was uh, got flooded. People noticed the price was high and flooded the market. Lesser Moonstone, really cheap. Sell that for. Uh, for, I guess, 12, 13 silver. And then we'll check out this burnished cloak. One guy's selling it for for four, four silver on a bid. We'll put it up here for... Uh, put it up for 25 silver. I don't think it'll sell, but we'll try. No, I, nobody wants this dagger. They're all sold out. We'll put it up for uh, put it up for twenty five silver. That's pretty cheap. No one has a sword. That's pretty good. That's a decent sword for a human warrior. I'd say we'll put it up for twenty five silver. Just trying to get some sales. That's really cheap for this sword, I think. And then nobody wants this mace. This mace probably sells for pretty cheap too. We'll put it up for uh, we'll put it up for thirty. Maybe it'll sell. And do we have any more boes? We got the sable wand. We need to get rid of. We have this other other sword, one-handed sword. It's not up there either. We'll throw it up for twenty-five silver. As long as we're getting more than vendor value, that's all that matters to me. And it seems like our bags are looking all right now. We have a lot of food. We got some meat for Gur, which we got yesterday. And we also have a lot of uh, melon juice. Speaking of Gur, we need to feed him some food. We'll give him this wolf blank for now. I wonder if there's anything else I should do. Should probably, um, we have a lot of silk cloth. I don't think we'll be... Should probably go to the first aid trainer, and I should probably also speak to the the hunter, the 
hunter trainer. I think we'll do that. We'll go to the cathedral first. And then I'll find out where the hunter trainer is, and then we'll go there. Light be with you. Class trainer, hunter. Go with Looks like that's in the dwarven district, so we'll head over there. Maybe we'll talk to the pet trainer as well. Level up our abilities. And then we'll make our way down to Darkshire. Shouldn't take us that long. Just take a small little flight there. And it looks like uh, Blizzard has announced um, about the, the upcoming patch that's coming out. And supposedly you're going to get a choice to move your character towards TBC. Or you can transfer them to a classic realm. Or you can pay a fee and the character can be copied. And, and you can put them on the classic realm and your, your character will stay and go to TBC. I'll probably pay a fee for my warrior and maybe a couple other characters. I think this character well I won't pay a fee for. I'll probably just send him right to TBC. Be careful. Light so it looks like we can't light. learn any new... Um, can't learn any new stuff. That's kind of a shame. When can I learn a new uh, upgrade? Light my bless you. When can I upgrade my uh, my first aid? Like 150? Need help? Kind of Safe weird. travels. All right. Well, it is what it is. I guess we can't uh, upgrade our first aid yet. Maybe uh, like we're maxed out with her. And we'll probably have to speak with somebody else who's more proficient in first aid. That eventually happens. I don't know who the Alliance one is, but I know on the Horde you have to go to like some uh, some interesting locations. Like in um, up here in the Hinterlands. I believe it's the Hinterlands or... Yeah, I believe it's the Hinterlands. And the Hinterlands over here maybe? No. Could be Hillsbrad Foothills. But there's a town around there, and there's a first aid trainer there. He's like the top-end first aid trainer for the Horde. And that's how you get max out your first aid, is by chatting him up, and then he tells you to mend some soldiers' wounds. I think it's cool how you have to travel around the world to get your professions up. It's not all just like one vendor in a town, like in retail. So here we are. Let's have a little chat with the, with the hunter trainers. There's our stable master. Check out the pet trainer here. See if she's got anything. Greater stamina rank 4. We'll take that. Natural armor rank 4. That's really good. So we'll upgrade those. There we go. Our pet just got stronger. And let's see if we got any other hunter. I guess we'll take out unavailable. To make it easier. Dual wield. Do we want dual wield? Nah. Distracting shot, rank 2. Rapid fire. Increases attack speed by 40%. Damn, we'll take that. Serpent Sting, rank 4. Yep, we'll take that. Raptor Strike, rank 4. Yep. There goes all our gold, guys. Immolation Trap, rank 2. Track hidden. Increases stealth detection. Distracting shot, rank 2. I don't know about distracting shot. Beast lore. Gather information about the target beast. Tooltip. Nah. I don't think we need that. It's like some Dragon Ball Z stuff. <laughs> Check the power level. Track elementals. We don't need any of that. I think we're good. Immolation trap might be good. For like an AoE pull. So I guess we'll take that. Sure. Don't want to waste too much gold on moves. So let's uh, upgrade our abilities here. Raptor Strike rank 4, right there. And then we got Serpent Sting rank 4. What else we got? Rapid Fire. So we'll put Rapid Fire here. Gives us a little 15 second buff and we just pump. And I think that was it. Alright, so there we go. We're done all that. Now it's time. To head back to uh, to Darkshore. I think we have some quests to do there, sir. Darkshire, I mean. We'll check that out. 
I was looking at dungeons, trying to see which one's next, and I think um, Shadowfang Keep might be the next one that we try to do. But we'll do that when we get to um, around Terran Mill and South Shore. When we get to South Shore, we'll have a little spot there, and then we'll be able to get to uh, Shadowfang Keep quick. It's kind of right next to South Shore. So once we do that, we'll start looking to do... Uh, Need to travel north a little bit. But we'll start looking to do Shadowfang Keep because we're kind of around that level where uh, Shadowfang Keep is it's a decent place to go. And then once we hit 30, we'll be uh, in perfect range for uh, to travel even more north near Undercity. And we'll be able to do uh, Scarlet Monastery, which is tons of dungeons, guys. It's a, it's a, fun, it's a fun place. I think Scarlet Monastery is like my, my favorite dungeon zone. I really enjoyed doing those dungeons as a warrior when I was leveling up at the beginning of uh, Classic. Especially when you get the Whirlwind Axe and you just spin to win. Hey, look, we got a Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer. Not too shabby. That's pretty good. We're going to be pumping today. Here we go. Let's get on the mount here. Well, the Griffin, I should say. We'll head down to Darkshire. Need help? So yeah, the plan is to do a couple quests in Darkshire. We might have to backtrack because we did miss some quests in Red Ridge Mountain that we still have on the table. So have Spen's Revenge. Go to Sven's farm and find out what's buried behind the old stump. Bride of the Embalmer has gone down to orange, so... I don't know if we'd be able to slay a level 31 elite, level 26. Maybe. And we still have a couple of quests to do in Duskwood. And then Red Ridge Mountain, we still have Howling the Hills. We have to slay Yowler. I think we could probably do that. And then Theral Zune will be a tough one. But that one is yellow, so maybe that's more that's some potential there. So there we go. A lot to do. A lot of quests to do, guys. Probably won't be able to do them all, but we'll see. Try to do as many as we can. I noticed that in the Druid Let's Play. There was um, a lot of quests I could have, more quests I could have done, so... I'm not really worried about running out of quests on the way to 60, especially since we're doing dungeons. As a as the druid, I didn't even do one dungeon, so I wasn't able to gain XP that way, and I still had more than enough quests to do. So doing dungeons, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss a lot of quests, so I'm gonna level a lot of stuff, but that's fine. It's not a big deal to me. I think we didn't put immolation trap up here. Maybe we did. Yeah, immolation trap rank 2. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of damage now, guys. Got Serpent Sting rank 4. New gun. Gur got a bit beefier. And here we are. And we're back. And Gur has a uh, Rally Cry of Dragon Slayer. That's pretty OP. So here's Kalor. We'll have a little chat with him. King's honor, friend. Looks like he's a part of the Night's Watch. Darkness seems drawn inexorably to Duskwood. Master Caravan's quest in the expulsion of evil and heresy. Through our efforts are the people of Darkshire kept safe. You believe yourself worthy to join us? I once thought as you, delusioned by the complacency of the Watch, I joined Master Caravan. If you wish to prove yourself, it will not be through words. Test your skills against the Nightbane Shadow Weaver, Worgen, in the Brightwood Grove. Bright, ha. Huh? And the Rotting Orchard. So we have to slay six Nightbane Shadow Weavers, Worgen or Kelor in Dark Shadows. Alright, so let's do that. We'll slay some of those. I guess I'll make uh, this in our home. So we are going to be uh, questing here be for careful. a little bit. Let's go. Hopefully our auctions sell, because we just spent like three gold on abilities. Abilities really kill your gold. 
but uh, I want them while we level, that's for sure. So I remember seeing these worgen up here. We sure do have a lot of bag space now, which is good. There we go, the brighter growth. And there they are, the Nightbane. Remember these things taking me out. I was running from them and they beat the crap out of me. There it is, Worgen in the woods. Let's get some buffs going. We'll use, uh, I guess we'll use the armor one only. We're starting to run out of armor, so that's good. I'm using them up. Here we go, level 29. Isn't this great? No wonder we had trouble last time. Nice taunt by, uh, by Gur. We're having a rough time here. Slowing down. We're doing damage, though, guys. Nice that rank. This axe is putting in work too. You guys smack it. We're gonna have to let her get a little bit of aggro. I'm gonna kill him, taunt. Now, oh, good thing we got this new axe. This guy did tons of damage to us, so let's have a little bit to eat here. Cause we'll have some of these mushrooms. Gotta get rid of them. Yeah, it was kind of crazy. So we got to, uh, we're pumping a lot of damage out now, so we are going to have to uh, figure something out here. Let Gur get aggro. Which probably makes distracting shot really good. But it causes threat, so actually, never mind. I actually don't want to cause threat. Where's the Shadow Weavers? So this one's a Shadow Weaver. Okay. So we found one. Let's send Gur in. Let him get a little bit of aggro. Looks like he's pumping right now. Give him one more shot. And then uh, we'll start shooting ourselves. Look at that pumping. But yeah, you can see that this thing really packs a punch. And it looks like Gur leveled up. That's awesome. Yeah, these guys really pack a punch. But so does my gun. Got to send Gur in. It's not like the older gun. The other gun was just like a machine gun. It was like... Choo, choo, choo. This gun's a little bit different. Let him get a little aggro, and then boom, let's start shooting. Look at that. Once we start shooting, it takes like such huge amount of damage. Yeah, this gun trucks. And I've got the new ammo, too. And obviously... Rallying Cry of the Dragon Slayer is helping out. Got a little bit of King's Blood over there. Keeps too bad we're too low herbalism to pick it up. Yeah, not bad. I wonder how expensive it is going to be to, uh, to transfer your character, to make your character, to transfer your character over to Classic but keep him on TBC. Hope it doesn't cost too much. I have a feeling they're going to charge us a, a hefty penny. I can see it being $25. Hopefully it's not. So that's kind of a ripoff. I can imagine people have like alts they want to keep. I want to keep my warrior on it because I would enjoy, you know, PvPing on him. He has a lot of gear and would be cool to PvP on the warrior. Copy him over to a classic server if I ever want to do like some classic last PvP. I can do some old dungeons or raids. I can always just hop on my old warrior and go to town. Wow, look at all the warg in there, dude. It's crazy. Don't want to run into that. But yeah, I hope it's not too expensive. But knowing Activision. They are most likely uh, going to rip us off. <laughs> it's going to cost some monies. But hey, you know, they probably think that they should be able to get a little bit of money out of that Classic WoW community. It's a big community, and really all they're paying for is the subscription, which is more than enough, you know. But, yeah, I don't know. I think Blizzard's, Blizzard's having a rough time, clearly. If it, if it wasn't for Classic... WoW would be in a in a rough state, I think. 
Shadowlands has been a decent expansion. I wouldn't say it's like saved retail. It's been it's been better, I'd say, better than BFA, but I wouldn't consider it like a top three expansion at the moment. We'll have to see what happens. I think Torghast has been kind of uh, kind of a fail. I think they had a good idea, but they I don't think they capitalized on it. The reason why is, is that it's it's pretty bland. It looks the same every time you do it. There isn't a lot of variety. You know, it's be cool if you went into it and like the level looked completely different, the mobs looked completely different. Sort of kind of like Diablo 3 Nephilim Rifts. I know I've said this a bunch of times, but... I think they messed up Torghast. And Torghast was like the new thing in the game, so that really needed to hit. If that hit, there was a new mode that was really good, then uh, I think um, it would have been a better expansion. But it's not over yet. You never know what they could do to Torghast. Hopefully it gets better. But I've enjoyed the I, I enjoyed PvPing and, and I enjoyed the raids. The raids I always enjoy, so they always do a good job with that. Dungeons have been pretty cool too. So we need to find one more Shadow Weaver. But TBC, TBC will be good. That'll keep WoW pretty relevant. I, I just they got some time. That's all I gotta say. Activision has some time to, uh, to, to keep WoW, WoW up to, up and running. Because they got the classic community holding them down now. Okay, we gotta get a... Okay. Oh, this guy doesn't... Okay, so Shadow Weaver we should just go all in. Look at these shots. They do a lot of damage now. Maybe we could, like, re wreck an elite. I don't know, we do a lot of damage over here. Briarthorn. Maybe you should try to get that and get some more health pots. Yeah, WoW's got a, got a couple... It's got a solid five years, I'd say. That's how... Well, maybe four years? Oh, man. I'm trying, dude. Talk, please. Talk, talk, talk. Talk. Drink another health pot because I suck. Against these melee guys, I really need to, uh, like, her get aggro. But yeah, the reason why I'm saying they got around, like, four years is because the game will still be good as long as the classic WoW hype is alive. And I think the classic WoW hype will be around probably till the end of Wrath. Once they release, like, start talking about classic cataclysm, I don't think people will be so excited about that. I think classic Wrath will be big. Wrath was a was the was the height of uh was the height of Blizzard. Well it was the height of WoW, I should say. So there we go, finish that up. We got some Briar Thorn. I guess we'll make a couple lesser healing pots. There we go. Got our healing pots back that we used today. But yeah, I think uh I think Blizzard has some time to fix up retail. They're just trying a bunch of stuff, and I think they hit on Mythic Plus. Mythic Plus is really good. Arena's supposedly getting a little bit better, I, I've heard. Hopefully they add, uh... Hopefully they add, what's it called? Uh, solo queue. I think solo queue would be awesome for Arena, but I just don't know if there's a big enough player base for that. But solo queue would be cool. Solo key RBGs would be awesome too. Let's hearth out of here. But yeah, WoW's in a in a decent spot. I think it's good for the next four or five years. And I'm also interested to see what other MMOs are coming out. It's probably it's gotta be some good ones coming out pretty soon, so might check those out as well. But that is the end of this episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.